Hey guys, nice little uh, video I got for you guys here. Uh, if you notice the scenery, I am inside of a broke ass down RV with no engine or anything in it. But uh, yeah, basically what I got going on, uh, this is where I'm going to start doing my videos from now on. Because it's, uh, even though it's hot as fuck, uh, it's nice and quiet and secluded. I can't be bothered. The video is going to be nice, you know. I got the tripod set up, nice little platform to put it on. I got a nice couch to have my things set down and right in front here. But anyways, right back to the actual video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about, once again, my latest purchase, which is the SK-5 Notches Bowie. But uh, this time... It's going to be not really about the knife itself, but the sheath. The nice Kydex or Securex sheath. And uh, what you can do, and why I like uh, Kydex Securex sheaths, that uh, are pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, definitely a little bit better than uh, leather. They're, the late, they're more technologically advanced, you know and they got more functions than just being a sheath for example right here now probably can't see that well because I'm doing the lowest quality video my camera can do for uh, the sole purpose of upload times because YouTube isn't uploading my videos directly with sound so I gotta bypass it by going through Photobucket which takes forever because Photobucket is a shit video uploading site and then convert it from a what was it whatever to a mp3 or mp4 so it would finally get audio and even though my youtube account says that i can have you know go past 15 minutes photo bucket doesn't do past 10 minutes so I'm gonna have to do part one and twos within 10 minutes videos so there's that and uh well sorry for wasting two and a half minutes talking about that shit when i should be talking about this sheath now what i got going on for it is uh like i was saying i was going to do a, with my unboxing video that paracord i got it on here there's about uh 20 feet or so on here not bad you know this is definitely a big sheath with lots of room, lots of surface area to put paracord on, so you can definitely put a lot more on. You moron. But anyways, and I also threaded on my uh, Leatherman case, if you can see that. And in it, well, wouldn't you know, is a Leatherman, the kick model. It's the lightest and with the fewest features, but it's also the cheapest. Mm, sorry, but uh, also not just that, but uh, my fire steel and the striker. And why is this on here? Or why do I have this this little thing when I got my multi-tool and my notches Bowie that I can easily use to strike and make a fire? So why is this here? What purpose does it serve? It's pretty much useless, right? Wrong, because not only is it a striker? You see that right there. This that's a whistle. That is a signal whistle. Fuck yeah. And uh, yeah, and on the back I got a pretty nasty rusty file, but uh, the file on it's still pretty good. You know, it's just cosmetically ugly and shit but uh, yeah it's got a fairly coarse edge and on the other side is pretty fine and uh, that I would be using and it's actually pretty well secured it's got uh, it's held in right there right there right there and it's stuffed under this plastic which is actually retaining it pretty well so it's not rattling it's not moving it's it's pretty it's pretty solid and uh, I put the Leatherman 
back in here, loop this on the other side, and stuff it through that. And why do I do that? Well, if you can see, that uh, little lanyard thing for the uh, striker as well, because this is Velcro, if this, okay, it's, it's not really holding on that well, but, okay, you saw me, well, you kind of saw me put the Leatherman back in there, but it's in there, and let's hang it upside down. Now, I have no idea what the hell you would be doing to cause something like this, but if you're in a situation where this thing's strapped to your leg, again, don't know what the fuck you're doing, but if this situation happens and you're your knife is doing this, and you got a similar setup like mine. This keeps it from opening up. Yeah, you see that? And your Leatherman from falling out. Because what good is a pocket uh, multi-tool if it isn't in its thing being there with you to be a multi-tool for you to use? And, yeah, whatever. But yeah. That holds it in. And file paracord, fire striker, signal whistle, big ass knife, multi-tool with a littler knife for uh, food preparation, all that shit. With a setup like this, would you really consider it an emergency survival situation? I wouldn't. A setup like this, you're pretty much taken care of. You, I wouldn't really consider surviving. More like an emergency, unplanned vacation. Right? Right? You're good with this. This is good. You're fine. So, uh, yeah. That's the uh, case. Get a little bit thing. A little bit better view of it. And on here is this uh, little wrap. You know, I did all the wrap up here. And then I had like about good three, three and a half, four feet of extra paracord. So, this is all just that excess bullshit that I put on here. You could probably uh, do a little thing with some duct tape. And have some spools of duct tape on here so you'd have all this and duct tape. Paracord and duct tape and a giant knife and a fire striker. You're good. You are good good. So yeah this is my little new setup. It's pretty awesome and uh, yeah you know use it if you guys want to if you got a sk5 notches or a at least a similar knife with a similar sheath you know you can paracord and do all this stuff with it and yeah it's it's now a survival knife so and i do edc it i do edc this knife oh and also a little thing i completely forgot about a little leg strap so that way it doesn't uh slapping against your leg all the time, but it was, the reason why I had it tied up is because I'm wearing shorts, and, uh, it doesn't line up properly, so it only works on pants, and this is only a temporary, I want to get a, uh, a stretchy elastic one that slides through these slots, and has like a buckle and stuff, you know, kind of like, a the, uh, goggles for a motocross, you know, those spans and stuff for, your motocross goggle helmets, helmet goggles. Uh, yeah, get something like that with a buckle on it for easy on and off. Cause you already got the quick release on this, so if you need it off, you can take it off. But yeah, just a simple paracord. And uh, yeah, pretty nice file for uh, if you're out and you actually use your blade and you fuck it up or something, or something happens to it. You can reprofile and fine edge. You can get a, and uh, you know put on a decent edge on it. it won't be super sharp, but uh, it'll definitely be workable. Versus you know the dinged up piece of shit that you had before going on. So yeah, it's pretty self-contained package, and it just straps right to your hip. And yeah, that's that's basically the video. So yeah, and uh, it is hot as shit because uh, it's only 10 o'clock. That's already 100 degrees, not to mention this uh, unconditioned, unair conditioned fucking hot box of a RV that I'm in, so cooling down. Bye, guys.